Hello mga math aaral! Welcome to my Taglish step-by-step -step math video tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss propositions. We are going to illustrate a proposition, define a proposition, and identify propositions and their truth values. Kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa channel na ito, just click the subscribe button for more general mathematics video tutorials. What is proposition? A proposition is a declarative sentence that is either true or false, but not both. A proposition has a truth value. If a proposition is true, then its truth value is true, which is denoted by capital letter T. Otherwise, its truth value is false, which is denoted by capital letter F. Propositions are usually denoted by small letters. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Ang proposition daw ay isang declarative sentence na either true or false but not both. So, kapag ang sentence ay interrogative or question or imperative or nagko-command or nagre-request or exclamative sentence, hindi ito proposition. Kasi ang proposition ay declarative sentence. A proposition has a truth value. So, if yung proposition ay correct or true, its truth value is true. And which is denoted by capital letter T. Pero kapag yung proposition is incorrect or false, its truth value is false, which is denoted by capital letter F. At yung propositions are usually denoted by small letters. For example, the proposition P, logic is easy, may be read as P is the proposition, logic is easy. If a sequence of proposition is considered, we denote the propositions by P sub 1, P sub 2, and so on. Let's have sample sentences. Directions. Determine whether the following sample sentences are propositions or not. A is the proposition. There are 60 minutes in one Hour. So, since this is a declarative sentence, it is a proposition. And the truth value is true. We know for a fact that there are 60 minutes in one hour. So, it is a true proposition. B is the proposition. Where did the coronavirus come from. So, since it is not declarative because it is a question, it is not a proposition since it is a question. C is the proposition. Find a cure for COVID-19. So, since it is a command because of the word find, this is an imperative sentence and so it is not a proposition because it is not declarative. It is imperative. D is the proposition. Welcome to the Philippines. So since it has an exclamation point, it is a exclamatory sentence. So it is not a proposition. E is the proposition. 25 is a perfect square. It is a declarative 
sentence. So, this is a proposition. And it is true. Because 25 is really a perfect square. So, I have here hints para mas mapadali yung pag-identify natin kung yung given sentence ay proposition or not. So, if it is questions, commands, requests, and exclamatory sentences are not considered as propositions. Sa madaling salita, kapag may question mark, nagko-command, nagre-request, or may exclamation point yung sentences, hindi na siya proposition. They are not propositions. Proposition lamang kapag declarative sentence. Ano nga ba ang declarative sentence? It makes a statement. It tells us something. It gives us information. And they are normally end with a period. There are also numerical sentences. In geometry, there are many propositions like axioms and theorems. Sometimes, they are expressed in symbols and are also considered as propositions. Let's have more examples. F is the proposition. 5 plus 3 equals 8. So, solution. The given equation is a mathematical sentence that when translated into English, the equation reads the sum of 5 and 3 is 8. A declarative sentence which is true. Hence, F is a true proposition. Next, G is the proposition. If x plus 3 equals 10, then x equals 7. Solution. This is a proposition. The equation holds true. If you substitute the given value of x, which is 7, in the equation, so yung x palitan ko ng 7, 7 plus 3 is really equal to 10. Therefore, it is a true proposition. Age is the proposition. If A equals B, then B equals A. So, this is a true proposition. Why true proposition? Because it is actually the symmetric property of equality. I is the proposition. X plus 4 equals 10. So, since this is a mathematical statement, it is a proposition. But while this is a proposition, its truth value cannot be ascertained since the value of x is unknown. J is the proposition. If A and B are the legs of a right triangle and C is the hypotenuse, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So this is a proposition. The formula represents the Pythagorean theorem. So this is a true proposition. Let's have activity one. Directions. Write P if the given statement is a proposition. And NP if it is not a proposition. Number one, the sun is shining. 
So, it is a declarative sentence. So, it is a proposition. Number two. The sum of two prime numbers is even. Again, it is a declarative sentence. So, it is a proposition. Number three. Five plus ten equals fifteen. It is a mathematical statement and it's still it is considered declarative sentence so it is a proposition. Number 4. Are you done with your modules? So since it is a question, it is not a proposition. Number 5. x plus y is less than 20. It is a mathematical statement and again it is considered declarative sentence. So it is a proposition. Let's have number six. Is it raining? So it is a question. So it is not a proposition. Seven. Welcome to the Philippines. It has an exclamation point it is exclamatory sentence therefore it is not a proposition number eight n is an odd number it is declarative sentence so it is a proposition number nine the moon is made of green cheese so it is a declarative sentence therefore it is a proposition. Number 10. The ocean is blue. It is a declarative sentence. Thus, it is a proposition. Let's have activity number 2. Directions. Determine the truth value of the following propositions. Write T if it is true. F if it is false. Or C, if it is, cannot be ascertained. Number one. The square of a number six is 36. So if we are going to square six, the answer is 36. So it is true. Number two. All five-sided polygons are pentagons. Yes, all five-sided polygons are called pentagons. So the proposition is true. Number three, it will rain tomorrow. So we don't know if it will rain tomorrow or not. So the proposition cannot be ascertained. Number four, six plus ten divided by two is equal to eight. So, if we are going to use the PEMDAS, the answer is not 8. Because using the PEMDAS, we divide first 10 by 2. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Plus 6 is equal to 11. So, it's not 8. So, the proposition is false. Number 5. All squares are rectangles. Yes, it is correct that all the squares are rectangles. So, it is a true proposition. Number six, all birds can fly. Not all birds can fly. So, the proposition is false. Number seven, x plus y is equal to 50. So, since the value of x and y is unknown, our answer or the proposition cannot be ascertained. Number eight, for all integers x, x squared is greater than or equal to zero. Yes, if x is zero, zero squared is equal to zero. If x is one, 1 square is equal to 1. So, 1 is greater than 0. So, this proposition is true. Number 9. Some triangles have four sides. 
it is false. Why? Because all triangles has three sides. Number 10. An isosceles triangle can also be a right triangle. Yes, it is a true proposition. Isosceles triangle can be a right triangle. Let's solve the last activity. Instructions. Determine whether each statement is a proposition or not. If it is a proposition, determine its truth value if possible. First, A is the proposition. Is there a need for you to study hard? So since it is a question, our answer is not a proposition. B is the proposition. Please read the instructions carefully. So the word please read is a command. So since it is a command, it is not a proposition. C is the proposition. X plus 5 is equal to 9. So since this is a mathematical statement, it is a proposition. But the truth value cannot be ascertained. Why? Because there is no given value of our x. D is the proposition. 144 is a perfect square number. So since this is a declarative sentence, it is a proposition. And the truth value is true. Why? Because 144 is really a perfect square number. E is the proposition. Keep right when climbing the stairs. So it is a command. So since it is a command, it is not a proposition. F is the proposition. 2 is less than or equal to 1. So since this is a mathematical statement, it is a proposition. But the truth value is false. Why false? Because 2 is not less than or equal to 1. 2 is greater than 1. G is the proposition. The year 2020 is a leap year. So since this is a declarative sentence, it is a proposition. And the truth value is true. Why true? Because 2020 is really a leap year. Age is the proposition. If a triangle has a right angle, then it is called a right triangle. So since this is declarative, it is a proposition. And the truth value is true. Because if a triangle has one right angle, it's, it is really called a right triangle. I is the proposition. What is 5 over 10 in simplest form? So since it is a question, it is not a proposition. J is the proposition. Congratulations. Since it is exclamatory, it is not a proposition. Thank you for watching Mat Aaral. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the YouTube channel. Thank you. Until next time, God bless.